We found that it might have gone under in one way, only to pop up in another. Anyway, judge for yourselves. We start at Bethnal Green, in the heart of the East End, in a pub. Here we go. I got on the alpha knot and put it on the scum. The law's been around to get the same little rubber. Big sister's gonna got in trouble with a lover. I've had a bleeding number back with one thing or another. I should have listened to me dear old mother. She was a good old girl, old lover. Find a wife and settle down, she say, brother. You know how it is, what we want, and Chas and Dave, two contemporary cockney musicians who regularly entertain in traditional style and setting. They write all their own material, but freely acknowledge a debt to the music hall that once voiced and fostered the cockney dialect. I had a wash and shave and I went round for Tommy Glover To ask him if he fancied a quick and down the plover he come to the door and said me missus might discover You know how it is, Jack, with one thing <laughs> And I can remember a case where I was miles up in the desert all getting up the other side of the brook somewhere. And there was a young, I'd been out there for years then, and there was a young lad, you know, and I heard him speaking, so I said, where do you come from? So he said, London. I said, I know you do. I said, but whereabouts in London? He said, Bethnal Green. I said, I knew that. I mean, Bethnal Green was with the F. Yes. I mean, you take it which way, either one F or two F, you <laughs> take it which way you like, you know what I mean? And they say it was you years ago. Today, they're much more modern than I am. They say Bethnal Green. I've got grandchildren today, I'm afraid to talk to them because they're so posh here. They, Hello, grandfather, how are you? So I say, well, old pal, how are you getting on, Bill? All right. And this is it today, isn't it, really? I carry the can, me on man. I get treated like a cow son's muck, but let me tell this one, I might end up in the farm if I ever get out to this man. It's everyday talk now, it isn't the sort of, um, well you say that was a stairs and things, that was a and things like that. I don't use it there, it's everyday things, little, little catchphrases at the end of sentences and things like that. I mean they use the word, you see, or all right, on the end of every sentence it's all right, or you see, you know, always on, stuck on the end of a thing. Right, yeah. yeah, and if they want to talk to you, you know, they say, uh, hang on a minute. You know, it's all little catchphrases now, instead of saying that was the stairs, that was the pairs, all right, you know, it's dying out now. So you take your overcoat off and you put it up on the rack in a pub and you say, look after my smother for me, Fred, but it's your overcoat, you know what I mean? And you might have your twirls in your pocket. What's that? Bunch of kids. <laughs> And amongst the screws when they go out and say, where's me Glim? Where's me Glim? Well, that's his torch. <laughs> Not so very often these days, all that's inside doing yeah. bird now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I turn around morning and say, a lot of, I've got all this, I'll get something before I say, I want to knock this out a bit sharp. You know what I mean? I turn around and say, what, you've had it off? Yeah. I think you've had something See, off the back of the line. Well, we, even talk, we talk like that now. I mean, all the time in the pub, like, they come in and say, I want to knock this out a bit. Like, you know, we want to buy it, you know. And uh, all things like when we know. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say. It. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we're all straight here. We're all, we're all crooks here. <laughs> I got home the other night and what did I discover? The law's been around again to see me little brother. Big sister's gonna got in trouble with a lover. He come to the door and said, "Me missus might discover." Cockney isn't dying out. Cockney is an accent. 
Cockney accent stays. It's our phraseologies, the, uh, the rhyming slang, the slang terms. Those things are dying out. Well, I go to dear old South End as night begins to fall. I thought I'd take a swim, you know, behind the cobble stool. I found a nice young lady, she'd been washed up on the shore. She took her up and you're up, so I took another drawer at the enemy of cigars. It's different altogether to the East End of London. They're people with hearts, but up yeah, here, sure they're is. people with pockets. Well, I used to be a sailor once, a sailing on the sea. One day the vessel struck her up, just all the sea. The captain said, we're going down, I said, you're up the pole. And when they come to find me, I was bunging up the hole with the enemy on cigar. I wouldn't move out of here for nobody, but I wonder Paul's I wouldn't move out of here for because I love it, and, uh, and I, when they carry me out, they carry me out of here. That's all I want. Well, I used to be a doctor, and in the surgery come a nice young girl with the vaccination plea. Will I vaccinate you, darling? I said, I knew you are. I'll vaccinate you, darling, with the enemy old cigar, with the enemy old cigar. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. I'll vaccinate you, Gertie, where you took the safest far. And now she's standing, showing the boys around the public bar. Say, look at the doctor, dump for me with the enemy's old cigar. Help the enemy, old cigar. Come on. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. I walk to Piccadilly and they think that I'm a star. It ain't because I'm handsome or I'm a lardy car. But I think with the ladies fancy with the enemy, old cigar. to spare with a wife and kiddies in their Sunday clothes for the treat to make me mind up for a bit of country air I started getting mush <laughs> well carry on well the places of a quiet day I told you I didn't know the calls did I I'll start again see that's how they do it on the telly they say you want to start again mush and they start again